there, I'm Rod Stickman. Many of you have probably seen me before on signs all around the world. I guess you could say safety is my calling. I've tried other jobs, restaurant critic. Oh! I even tried hand modeling. But nothing seemed as satisfying as keeping people safe. Today, I'm going to talk about safe work design. I'm not talking about fancy pants interior design, like chic furniture, lighting, or flower motifs. I mean organizing your workspace to avoid injuries, specifically injuries to the muscles or skeleton. I have neither of those things, which, ironically, makes me perfect for this job. Things like sprains, ouch, or strains, ooh, or repetitive strains, Ow, ow, ow. Or other soft tissue damage. Oh! You can't see that one, but believe me, it hurts. Get what I'm talking about? Good. Okay, let's start with some lifting. There are simple rules to lifting that can save you a lot of pain. <laughs> An important rule is to not lift stuff like anvils. They're just too heavy. Lift reasonable loads. And be sure to bend these, not this. I don't have a nose, but you should always keep yours between your toes when lifting. Never bend sideways. Keep the load close to your body. Carry it above your knees and below your shoulders. What an excellent opportunity to discuss pushing and pulling. Pushing is always better than pulling. If I had muscles like you, they would be better designed to push then pull. See? Piece of cake. Now watch this. Uh, oh! Yeah, yeah. Ouch. Uh. Ah. Looks like a good time to talk about storage. To avoid strains and serious injuries, heavy items should ideally be stored at waist height. Mm. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah. I think they get the point. <sighs> That's good for today. I'll leave you with this. If you feel there is something unsafe in your workplace, it's your right to speak up and have it fixed. And your boss's responsibility to fix it. Your boss has to keep you safe. It's the law. Go to safeworknl.com to find out more and check out some of my other films.